Daddy disappeared, Grandma disappeared, Grandpa disappeared, Amy disappeared, Uncle disappeared, and I'm on my knees praying, thanking God I'm here. Yep. A long story yep. short. video man I'm out here in Arkansas enjoying myself a lot of great things in Arkansas man that I didn't know about but I'm really enjoying it um, if you haven't already be sure to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel um, it really means a lot to us to see the engagement and um, help us to get to uh, 400 subscribers that is the goal before the year is out and so once again, thank you. I had a very quick thought um, about what is the storm teaching me? You know, a lot of times when we go through hardships in life and when we go through difficult situations, you know, it's just human nature to want to not have pain, to want to not have challenges. And it's human nature, honestly, to want to just get out of the storm as fast as possible because it's uncomfortable but <clears throat> this thought came to my head sometimes we're so busy trying to get out of the storm that we don't sit in the storm long enough to say well what is the storm teaching me sometimes we're so busy trying to get out of the pit that we don't stay in the pit long enough to say well what is this teaching me because if we were to be honest, we all tend to call on God in a much stronger way when things are not right in our life. I'm sure that most of us pray when things are good, but we just pray a little bit differently when things are bad. I'm sure that most of us pray when our bodies feel well, but it's a different type of prayer that you pray when you feel sick. I'm sure that most of us pray when, when our bills are paid but I think it's a different type of prayer. We pray when we broke and we don't know how the bill is going to be paid. So <clears throat> if we were to be honest, our character and our strength and the perseverance that we have was not built because of good times. It was built because of bad times. And while we don't like going through certain situations that are tough, it is very necessary. So. I want us to ask ourselves this question once again. What is the storm teaching me? Instead of focusing on praying for God to bring me out, I think a more wise prayer to pray is, God, what are you teaching me by going through this? Because <clears throat> we all know that certain things we have learned in life have came from certain situations. For example, some people know not to date certain type of people because of a heartbreak. Some people know that a certain type of jobs that they would never take again because of an experience they had in a previous job. And it's just about making that decision. You know, it's like that famous story that they were showing on the news the other day about how this doctor, it was, it was a doctor and it was another person who was on drugs and they both came from a mom who was on drugs and they were twins and the person who was interviewing them asked a powerful question he says okay you became a doctor but your brother is on drugs the brother on drugs said 
the reason I'm on drugs is because my mom was on drugs. And the brother who became a doctor said, the reason I'm a doctor is because my mom was on drugs. In other words, they both had a decision to make. Are they gonna let what they come from cause them to do good or to do bad? And so maybe somebody watching this video today and maybe you're facing a hard situation. And I know it's a natural tendency to want to get out, to want to not feel pain, to, to pray for God to deliver you from it. But let me just provide another perspective tonight. Ask yourself, what is this teaching me? How is this helping me to grow? And when you change your perspective, you will change your results. Have an awesome day, guys.